Oh yeah, one month away from Guardians Fest. Amongst all the exciting Brown stuff and the Cavs playing the hardball, there's the there's the Guardians just chugging along, and we're gonna do some updates on where we're at. So they got the number one pick. That's exciting, and obviously for the first time in club history, we're the, as the Guardians fans, we're all thirsting to know who they're gonna draft. We will be covering coverage as we get closer into the drafts, not until the summer. The other big news that kind of folded under the radar to me was the Rule 5 draft. They got this gentleman named Della Santos, same last name as the pitcher we just traded. He's coming to Cleveland from Arizona in a Rule 5 draft. Uh, as the as one of the uh, officials put it for the Guardians, big belt, big power. This is a guy who's going to generate some push into the outfield, hopefully over a fence, which is good to see. Della Santos is listed as a third baseman. But fans should take note. It does not mean he's going to be playing third base. In fact, he is already offered to the Guardians. He is ready to play anywhere on the infield and possibly in the outfield too. So he's flexible. Don't think this is a replacement for J-Ram. That's not the case. In fact, he's going to be placed in where the team and where he thinks it's best position. So when you see that, it's not a replacement for J-Ram. De Los Santos, power bat. Young power bat is coming to the Guardians and is on the 40-man roster. There's a lot of Shane Bieber trade rumors. Wouldn't believe in any of them. It looks like he is going to be starting for the Guardians in 2024. That is surprising. A team is going to have to really make a big push and make a big deal for the Guardians to trade away Bieber at this point. So that's what it's going to take. It might happen. There's not a lot of pitchers in the open market. So could a team overpay for a Shane Bieber? It could. So keep your eye on that. That's the latest there. There's no chance the Guardians are going to trade Josh Naylor. And I think I've seen all these different articles out there. The main reason being, to me, he's got his own brother on the team. There's no way the Guardians, who are a very family and person-oriented organization, is going to trade a guy who's one of their best players and his own brother's on the team. No chance. I think that is clickbait. That's all it is. In fact, I don't even I don't even think it's respectable to put up an article anymore about Josh Naylor trade rumors. It's just not happening. Check out all of your Guardians content at BelieveInTheLand.com. At Official Cleveland Sports, we'll be doing all sorts of live stuff from the Guardians Fest. Again, a month away, January 20th. We'll be there live doing all sorts of fun things running around Guardians Fest. And as always, go to BelieveInTheLand.com.